Buffalo Bill always envisioned what could be. A town here, a dam there, a fancy hotel over yonder. Nothing in the present, including the museum that now bears his name, would have been far from his imagination or experience. Just imagine, by age 22, Buffalo Bill had worked a pack train, prospected for gold, rode for the Pony Express, hunted buffalo for the railroad, and scouted for the army. His life became the very grist for the dozens of dime novels written about him, stirring together fact and fantasy, romance and honor, action and adventure. For a few years, a leap from page to stage fashioned Buffalo Bill the actor. Then, in 1883, Cody turned producer to create Buffalo Bill's Wild West, what some writers called the dime novel western come to life where the characters from one became the cast for the other. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to introduce to you a congress of the rough riders of the world. Arguably, with a few histrionics and some poetic license thrown in for good measure, the Wild West carried its frontier action far and wide to audiences across this country and Europe. With energy and motion, pathos and triumph, Buffalo Bill shaped his version of the Western experience and stirred the imagination of the world. One need only saunter through the Buffalo Bill Museum to agree. Buffalo Bill was so big, even the West couldn't hold him. As American novelist William Faulkner remarked, The aim of every artist is to arrest motion, which is life by artificial means, and hold it fixed so that a hundred years later, when a stranger looks at it, it moves again. The Whitney Gallery of Western Art lays claim to some of the most awe-inspiring masterworks of the American West, where motion is indeed arrested, along with grandeur, power, loneliness and conflict. These masters chronicled sights, sounds, emotions, actions and relationships of the American West, and their works years later continue to leave the viewer breathless. Relationships could be complex on the frontier, as many laid claim to the land. It provided the trapper a living, the adventurer a challenge, and the settler a new life. For the Native American, the land was sacred. The tribes of the Northern Plains seem not to acknowledge any gap in time between ancestors and descendants. Carefully passed from one generation to the next, cultures, traditions, and values of the Plains Indians are integrated with the context of their lives today with no break in the rhythm and flow of posterity. Throughout the Plains Indian Museum, Native voices coupled with beautiful objects tell these life stories and histories of Plains Indian peoples in a sensory and factual immersion. Those voices teach the onlooker about family, adversity and renewal, beauty and celebration. Whether cowboy or trapper, settler or Native American, the story of the American West is incomplete without the firearm. As one cowboy penned, I was reminded of the early days at home in Texas, where on arising in the morning, one buckled on his six-shooter as though it was part of his outfit. In the Cody Firearms Museum, one views the most comprehensive collection of American firearms in the world gaining an understanding of how gun manufacturers embraced the technology of the Industrial Revolution and changed the culture of the West. The firearm allowed a man to protect his family on the frontier, and his rifle leveled the playing field between himself and that evening's dinner. One Western historian declares there's only one real question to ask about the West. What is it about this place that makes the artist paint the cowboy spin yarns, the musician strum, the native dance, the explorer move on. There can only be one answer. 
the land. The Draper Museum of Natural History delves into the many questions of humans versus environment. It encourages the visitor to abandon his everyday life for a while and become an explorer of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Interactive trails replicate the sights, sounds, and yes, even the smells of the region, immersed in a natural environment that introduces actual specimens of grizzlies, wolves, bighorn sheep, moose, and other wildlife, the explorer catches a glimpse of why the artist painted, why the trapper hunted, and why the settler endured. The Buffalo Bill Historical Center, with our history and world-class collections, Western aficionados delightfully discover we are the West. They experience profound silence at the sight of a poignant sculpture, grin at the sight of cowboys and kids, and swear they hear the roar of a mighty waterfall painted on the canvas before them. The sights, the sounds, the voices, and the images of the West. We have them all. The Buffalo Bill Historical Center, Cody, Wyoming. Draw!